Hey guys, the Sundance Film Festival is only a few weeks away. It's happening in Park City, Utah. It is going to be happening the January 18th through January 28th. This is where Park City gets completely transformed into this amazing little Hollywood. So what I really wanted to do was go through some this article with you for some Sundance tips. So basically... I have been trying to give people tips for Sundance forever, and it always sneaks up on me super, super fast. So I found this article and I just wanted to share it with you. So save these tips for the ultimate 2024 Sundance Film Festival experience. So as we're gearing up for the 2024 Sundance Film Festival, it is the 40th edition. There is a lot to work look forward to. This is your one-stop shop post for all the helpful details for planning so that you can focus on what matters most celebrating and championing the independent cinema. So this is so, this is an event that Park City is truly famous for and it brings a lot of people to our town. Here's the information that you need for an unforgettable festival experience from tickets to lodging to accessibility. This is what you need to know about attending the 2024 Sundance Film Festival happening January 18th through 28th in Park City and Salt Lake City, Utah and online. So save this Save this website and check back regularly for new updates and links if you are planning on coming to Park City for a Sundance experience. So ticketing. In Utah or online, they've got ticketing options for you to choose from depending on what kind of fest experience you're looking for, including exclusive options for Utah. So the festival package in person is always the festival fave and the Ignite ticket package presented by Adobe is back again. New to the lineup this year is the festival package second half in person design so that you can catch even more screenings or see your favorite films again and be sure to save the date for January 11th when the single film tickets sale begins. Everyone should experience the Sundance Film Festival some, from Salt Lake City at least once. So did you know that there are also a number of films this year that will have world premieres in Salt Lake City? The 2023 festival saw Willie Nelson and family, The Amazing Maurice, Poacher and others premiere in Salt Lake City. From decked out venues to pop up merch, there will be plenty of festing to do in beautiful Salt Lake City. Our Salt Lake City Pass in person is a great option to take advantage of the capital of Utah. This pass offers unlimited screenings in Salt Lake City and priority access to Salt Lake City theaters. We are also thrilled to have another year of online screenings from January 25th to 28th for fest goers who can't make it to Utah this year. Our festival package online will get you 10 tickets for online screenings with on-demand access so you can watch your favorite films from your TV, computer, or your tablet. With so many options, the 2024 festival journey is yours to create. So if you click here, you can get all the information that you need to watch online, including your computer system requirements. If you have questions or for more information on how to purchase tickets, click on their How to Fest ticketing page. Make sure that you secure your lodging. Reserve your lodging through the booking partner's sites and get hooked up with a free gift of your choice. Choose between airport transfer, film tickets, and lift credits. When you're visiting the lodging page, you will see some hotels and condos labeled as SFF pick. Those are a few of our recommended lodging options for a number of reasons. Whether it's due to location, for example, it's right on Main Street, value, and even where the stars like to stay. I'll never forget when I was, um, when I had, when I was with my old real estate company, we had an office right on Park Ave and Demi Moore was standing outside of my office. And I was just like, her hair is beautiful. She's looks so good. Like it was, it was pretty crazy. So you will see some stars around. You just got to keep your eyes open. When I was in high school, I will never forget. We would literally like ditch class to go like walk around on main street and take pictures of celebrities. If they were nice to us, they took, if they were nice, they took pictures with us, right? We were getting like 15. So stock up on festival, festival swag. First goers might also remember how fast several of our merch items sold out last year. So expect the same for 2024 and be the first to grab your swag when you're in, when the online store drops in November. And remember, we have three merch pop-ups in Park City and one in Salt Lake. So just save some room in your cert case because you might need it. So explore our accessibility options. A festival that is accessible to all fest goers is a successful one. If you have questions regarding the accessibility options for the 2024 festival, visit the accessibility page on the festival platform. This is an ongoing effort and our accessibility team is here 
for you. If you would like to provide feedback or if you have an accessibility question, you can contact them. So basically, if you're coming in, I think the best place to stay, if you're coming in for the Sundance Film Festival, the closer to Main Street you are, the better it's going to be. However, this is a, this is a time of year when people are charging a lot of money. This is like peak lodging rates. This is peak beat. Airbnb times. This is when like businesses on Main Street rent out their, they clear out their stores, rent it out for events for Sundance and they make buku bucks. So this is an amazing time and all the action really happens on, on Main Street. Like there's nothing really going on at Kimball Junction or the outlying areas. Like it's mostly happening on Main Street. This is also one of the best times to ski because most people that are here are not here for um, skiing. They're here to watch the movies, to go to the events. They're here to support the events. They're filmmakers, directors, they're actors in the events, they're support staff, they're friends, they're the entourages, whatever it is. And, you know, they're not big skiers. So that is the time to really hit the slopes is when the Sundance Film Festival is here. But just keep in mind that lodging and finding a place to stay could be a little bit more difficult and more expensive just because, Everybody's here for that Sundance Film Festival, but it is a really fun time. It's a classic thing to do in Park City and make sure that you hit up Main Street. Go check it out. Go check out a movie. Hey, what's up? My name is Nicole Battle. I'm a local real estate agent in Park City, Utah. I've lived in Park City for 37 years. If you're thinking about buying or selling real estate in Park City, Utah, and you want to contact me, my information is always dropped down in the description link down below, and I'll see you at the Sundance Film Festival.